All right, Tud's back. It's the Wednesday of Christmas week. We are four days away from the big day. Yeah. Two Doing days from the storm. And, stuff. Yeah, tonight. Tonight's our night. To go around. Last, yeah, last, it was last Wednesday. We did all the last minute Hanukkah stuff. Uh -huh. And tonight is all the last minute Christmas stuff. And when you say that, you go to the stores and you got to get your bags gotta and get. your tape and your gotta get. wrapping paper and all the little gift cards that you got to put in a stocking and all that kind of stuff. A lot of gift cards. A lot of gift cards. A lot of teenagers. A lot of gift cards. Yeah. <laughs> it, it seems to be like the only gift that you know you can count on with a teenager. Well, I think that they enjoy the autonomy of the power of choice. Yeah. They want to shop and sure. get what they want. And so, mm -hmm. I mean, that, there's some value there. I agree. It's not a throwaway gift. It's, no, it's they, not. They, they, they love those. I will say, I've had a lot of issues with gift cards over the last couple of years. N recent. Recent. Huh. Like, they're like getting, they like... they don't work? Or? Yeah, like, they're just getting stolen. Oh. Like, I, I don't know how, but they just... They're just... They're not as reliable as they used to be. That's just what I've huh. observed. It's funny because I found a whole bunch of extra gift cards. Maybe they're yours. Try them. Yeah, no, maybe they're yours. <laughs> Try them. They probably don't work. Like a lot of my old ones don't work because they were stolen at some point. I didn't know it. And it's the process of getting them I know Donovan's going to kill us, but what you can do is you can scratch it off and you can add it to you, like your app immediately so you don't even have to have it. Yeah, so that's so the thing. Like, my I kids did generally do that. But so. two years ago when I got them. Didn't have that. Didn't choice. have the app yeah. and all so. that kind of stuff. All right. There you go. So, right. but that I like. That's a good idea. Then you don't risk losing it. Yeah, right. Ends up in the couch and you find it four years later. Totally. So, yeah. yeah. All right, let's get going. Stuff to talk about later in the week. Right now, it's just seasonably cold out. A couple of very cold spots. Freiburg's 10 with that deep snowpack. Acton, Sanford have a lot of snow on the ground, too, in the teens. Rest of us in the 20s to around 30. There's some cloud cover over eastern Maine, so it's not quite as cold. On the map, high pressure sitting over the northeast, quiet weather. This front will fizzle as it passes. The tail end of it, though, will come east and pick up this moisture, and that's going to blow up into our storm for Friday. All right, cloudy areas will be clearing up eventually here this morning. It's cold and calm out this morning. Midday, a lot of sunshine, no wind for a change. Yes, that wind has been really annoying light lately. So in the sunshine, it'll actually be really nice this afternoon. Mostly clear, dry, quiet. The roads will be real fine. And our winter officially begins this evening after the sun goes down. 447 is the winter solstice. And so it begins winter 2022-23. As we look at highs, we'll be in the mid-30s for the coast. Same thing inland up in the mountains around 30. Same thing for the far north. Pretty close to where we should be. And again, the wind light out of the southwest. So looking pretty good. This high will drift east, and here comes the storm. It's going to be so powerful out here over the lakes that it won't be able to redevelop off the coastline. So we won't trap much cold air over Maine. There'll be a little bit of snow at the start for the mountains, but we'll even go over to rain there. And Friday is going to be a high impact storm day with lots of rain, which could lead to flooding, lots of wind, which could lead to power outages, and a coastal flood threat too which could end up closing some roads that are adjacent to coastlines. These winds will be out of the southeast and they'll be howling. It looks like they peak in the morning on Friday, and that timing is pretty critical, and I'll explain that in a second. Over the weekend, the storm is gone, but the cold comes blasting back in, and we're only going to have highs in the 20s on both Saturday and Christmas Day. There'll be a little breeze out there, too. That's not good because I'm expecting quite a few power outages from the storm and there's going to be a lot of cold behind it as well. So hopefully you have a secondary source for heat. Here's the front end snow in the mountains. I'm hoping for three to six with the peaks getting six inches. Those are the ski resorts to hope kind of offset the warm up and the melt so that there's not much of a of a loss with the snowpack. But still the biggest concern is the wind. And it probably peaks Friday morning with gusts between 60 and 70 miles per hour right along the coastline. This is likely going to be another widespread power outage event. Could be bigger than the last one that we had last weekend. The winds stay active Friday night into Saturday, but not as strong, not capable of power outages, but they will probably complicate the restoration effort. The timing of the core of those strongest winds is critical because we've got a high tide around 10 15 10 45 in the morning and if those two coincide that onshore wind big waves and already a high astronomical tide because of the new moon 
There is some big potential for flooding along the coast and for some road closures for roads that are adjacent to the coast. And you know those flood prone areas. So again, the coastline could have some problems on Friday too. There's a coastal flood watch up, which will likely get upgraded. A lot to do on Friday, a lot to consider. Marine forecast sees one to three north winds light water temp 45. A lot of sunshine out there, quiet day, so that's good. Highs in the mid 30s. Tomorrow's quiet too. There'll be clouds rolling in mid 30s. We've got rain and wind on Friday. It starts a little mix for the foothills and the mountains, but we are going to warm up to 50 degrees. Storm is gone Friday night. Saturday and Sunday are better. Still a little breezy on Saturday, but they are both very cold. Highs in the 20s and lows around 20 or even some teens. Early next week appears to be quiet too with no storm there. Saturday, Sunday looks like the perfect like fires and yes. logs on the fire. That's what we call it. Eggnog. Yule logs. Yuletide logs. Yuletide? <laughs> Yule ones. Something like that. Mistletoe. Who knows? <laughs> All right. You'll get warm somehow, I promise. Yeah, right.